frozen baggies but now we're going to pick this next patch we're going to put it in quart jars and can it a lot of good looking sweet corn out through this hill a bunch of it out through there we're going to get it cleaned up you know times are getting hard nowadays and it don't hurt to put a bunch of food up for hard times. We got a bunch of roast nears, or corn on the cob, some people call them. I call them roast nears. It's fresh sweet corn. You peel all the husk off of it. This bunch has got worms in it, always on the end of it. But it don't hurt a thing. Just cut that little place off. See, he didn't eat too much. Peel all that off. And I take a, a dry rag and just wipe off the corn silk or the hairs or whatever you want to call it. Go right on to another one. But ain't nothing no better than butter on sweet corn. Oh boy. All the chickens like me doing this because they come up here and eat all the leftovers. Every now and then I'll throw them a worm to them. The worms have done left that one. So I'll cut it off. It don't hurt a thing. Don't hurt a thing. Yeah, once I get these all Chucked off, I'll show you how I cut the, car, the corn off the cob. Then we'll take it in the house. We'll blanch some of it, freeze it in Ziploc baggies. And I'll put a bunch in quart jars, and count them in quart jars. But I got two more bags just like this one, so I got a lot of work to do today. I'll check back with you when I find one of them worms and I'll show it to you. Here's the ear that don't have a worm in it. It's just on that much what he eats on. He don't eat a whole lot of it. That's why we don't spray our corn with chemicals and stuff. Get the worms off. They don't eat that much. See, there's one of them worms. He don't look all that bad. They call him a corn worm, but if anybody's ever coon hunting, they know that's not a corn worm. You coon hunt in them uh, roast near fields in the fall, and you'll get one of them corn worms. He'll put a streak down your arm. It'll, it'll set you on far. Them corn worms on a the green stalk is a bad dude. But I'll feed this one to the chickens and they'll like him. There she comes. The other one keeps wanting to get in here and get her, get her worms. She ain't, she ain't got confidence enough to grab it out of my hand yet. I 
I got all the corn scraped off the cob. Now I'm going to fill my jars up. You fill the jars up about an inch from the top. Don't pack it in there, just kind of let it fall in there. pressure cooker here holds seven of them so I get seven of them ready for free it I got this water boiling right here I put water in each each jar I say you only put it up about a inch from the top You can all fill up with hot water and fill up with corn. You can take a rag and wipe the lids off. Once you get all the water in them, or before you put the water in, you put one tablespoon of salt per jar. Or one teaspoon. The salt is really important. Once you get all the lids wiped off, and you put the seals on them. After you get the salt in it, be sure you clean the lid off good, then put the seals on it. And put your lid on it. I put them on there about finger tight. And put them in the pressure cooker and they're ready for cooking. The steam's starting to come out of it. My little pressure release. My, my steam's starting to come out of my release and I'll just click it down. And the other one things coming out and I'll put my weight on it 10 pounds right there now with pressure cook them it that there will get up on 10 pounds on that and when it gets to 10 pounds it will start counting the time it takes 85 minutes on the 10 pound of pressure to can sweet corn We're getting it started. Now we got 85 minutes to wait. Let them cook. It's been 85 minutes and I'm going to turn them off. They cool down on their own. Pressure lit off by itself. So we need it off. I said, cool down enough. Let me go ahead and take the, the jigglers off and open them up. You always open it up away from me so all that hot steam won't roll it up in your face. Look at it. A lot of hot steam. Oh yeah, they all looking good. Canning them turns your corn a little brown color, but 
But they still good sweet corn out there. Yeah, I'll show you another way of doing sweet corn. How to blanch them and put them in Ziploc baggies and freeze them. I got all my corn canned. I got them in bags here. I'll eat these bags first. That way they won't freeze or burn on me. But I'll go ahead and mark them all 2021. That way I know when they was canned. That way they won't get pushed in the back and be lost. But they'll be good this winter, I guarantee that. When I put them in these baggies, I boil them in butter. That's what the yell is in there with them. They, they already get in butter. I salted them and put butter in them. Mm-mm. Be some pretty good eating out there. Pressure cooking food and canning it is a good way to preserve food, but it can be really dangerous. So do your research and study how to do it before you try it. Don't do it just because I did it. But I've done it for years, and I don't know how hot and dangerous it can be. Enjoy it.